My name is Fatima Mohammed, and this is an excerpt from my play, Autism. Autism. The force that's changed my brother's entire life. I couldn't tell you what the toughest part is. Maybe it's dealing with the people. All the stares, the pointing, the giggles, the laughter, everything I had to stand through without knocking somebody's teeth in all of those faces. I could never forget the people who made me feel dead for claiming my brother as my own. Or maybe the toughest part is dealing with the embarrassment. <laughs> he used to throw off all of his clothes in the middle of the mall, and sometimes he would lay down and scream a fury when we couldn't afford to buy him another bag of chips. Or maybe the toughest part is that I'm actually trying. I'm actually trying to give this love away, but no matter how hard I try, no matter how much I try to make a home out of disorder, it still happens. He still bites, he still scratches, he still kicks and screams, and, and I have to pretend like I'm okay. I have to always pretend like I'm okay. And I hate pretending. And I used to resent him for forcing me to pretend. I used to blame him for everything. And I thought that the toughest thing I had to deal with was blaming him. But now I know that the toughest part, the toughest part is having no one who understands. No one who can look you in the eye and say, I understand. Autism plays a huge role in my life. My youngest brother, Bilal, lives with autism and a developmental disability. Uh, when I was younger, I used to just tell people that my brother was deaf because it was just a lot easier than um, facing the reality of trying to answer people what autism was. So the play, for me, it, it fits that place of not knowing and finally coming to know um, and wanting people to know that isn't what they think it is, that there's so much more to autism than what meets the eye.